Hi guys, bonjour tout le monde. Didn't realize you guys were there. Um, I'm gonna prop you guys up here for a second. Pendant que on attend que tout le monde nous joindre, je veux essayer quelque chose pendant qu'on parle. Donc, uh, hello à tout le monde. How's, every, how's everybody doing? J'espère que tout va bien aujourd'hui. And I'm trying something that I want to show you guys, but I want to try it first. Mais comme toujours, je trouve plus le die. C'est la troisième fois déjà aujourd'hui que j'ai perdu le même die. Et I was just holding it. Okay, guys, it's not even funny anymore. Chaque fois, j'en ai un die, je l'avais en main, je le touchais, je dis, OK, je veux l'essayer. Puis maintenant, j'ai mis quelque part, je trouve plus. Hi, everybody. OK, so, let me just look for it. I'm here, I'm here. I'm going to keep coming back. I may have put it down. There it is. OK, I found it. Okay, I found the die I need to show you guys what I want to show you. Hi, everybody. I'm happy to see you guys, too. Je t'ai manqué hier. Puis tout de suite après mon, mon, uh, mon petit mini live, j'ai vu que j'avais plus de temps à faire quelque chose avec vous autres. Mais je ne savais pas, donc je ne l'ai pas fait. All right, now I'm looking for a black ink, which I have here, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Mais il faut que je fasse un test en avant, OK? Donc, je fais mon test, puis je te reviens tout de suite si ça bien allé, OK? So, if it goes well, I'm going to show it to you live. And if it doesn't go well, well, we spent a few minutes together. And then I'll show you some other things, okay? So, I've just put my black ink on. Now I need a little piece of paper. I'm gonna cut. And then my sticky grid sheet. I text Sizzix yesterday and told them that I'm addicted to sticky grid sheets. And they told me that that happens. Je suis addict at les sticky grid sheets. Je l'aime pour tenir mes dies en place, mes pages en place, mes cartes en place. Donc, je les aime beaucoup. All right, so this came out, which I didn't want it to do. Okay, so that worked. Looks like I forgot to ink it somewhere. But now what I want to try and do is emboss it. And it seems to be a whole other thing when you want to emboss a die that you need like all these other pieces that I had no clue. Parce que c'est pas quelque chose que je fais souvent. So here goes. We're going to try and emboss this die. So it looks like I have the right formula now. And we shall see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Makes a big difference. All right. So this is what I'm going to show you guys, okay? I just made this. Because there's a new product, and it's called, it's a die and a stamp in one, okay? Dans une passe, on a une étampe et une uh, découpe. And then I ran it through and I embossed it, okay? So you can see the raised edges. So I did do it a few times, so I'll show you those, but I'll just show you how easy it works, okay? Et après ça, je vais vous montrer les dessins. So I am getting ink all over my plates. All right, where did I just put that little piece of sticky grid? All right, maybe I'll get somebody to come hold the camera for me for a minute. All right, so Jay's gonna hold the camera for me. I'm gonna close this. 
So, voilà, j'ai un die. J'ai un matrice, OK? C'est tout. C'est un matrice. Je le mets. Moi, je mets sur mon sticky grid sheet. C'est pas nécessaire, mais j'aime que ça tient ça en, en place. Tu prends ton encre. OK? So, you're going to put your ink on. And yes, you're going to make a mess of your sticky grid sheet. So, c'est pour cette raison. Si tu ne veux pas, mettre le pas. But I'm going all over it because I want to make sure I get the whole thing inked up. OK? Parce que c'est vraiment cool. OK. Donc, j'ai mis mon Versamark. Maintenant, je vais le prendre. I just realized I need that from in front of Jay. To cut another little piece of the paper I'm going to use. OK. Je mets mon papier. Oops. OK. I didn't get it. OK. J'ai mis mon papier. Maintenant, je prends mon deuxième plaque et je passe dans ma Big Shot. OK? Puis moi, toujours, je fais retourner un fois. Donc, on peut le voir. Oh, mama. Just to show you. Donc, tout de suite, ça fait étamper l'image. OK? So now, I'm going to put it back in there. Uh, this way. OK. Puis, je vais le faire mon gaufrage dessus, juste pour avoir plus de relief. Donc, je garde la même chose. J'enlève un côté de mon plaque. So I just take off one uh, page of, kind of page, one shim. And now... I still use a plate. I'm going to use my foam mat. And then I'm going to use what they call the knock-knock pad. But this comes in a set. Ça vient emboss and transfer set. Ça vous donne le plaque et le foam en même temps. So now I'm going to put this plate in. And then I'm going to run it through. Okay. Normalement, on ne veut pas enlever le die de, pour le regarder. Tu le fais tout de suite après, mais j'ai voulu vous montrer. So, I don't know if you can see now, mais maintenant, il y a beaucoup plus de relief et toutes mes lignes sont plus définies. OK? So, those are much more defined now. J'ai quelques items comme ça que je vais vous montrer bientôt. Ceux-là, ils s'appellent... Delicate Blooms, I think. Donc, celle que j'ai ici, ça s'appelle Delicate Blooms. OK. Maintenant, je vais prendre caméra. Merci, Jay. Ah, oh, Jay was very pleased with my demo. And now, I'm going to take you over here and show you a few others that I did. Pendant que j'ai joué, j'ai fait en bleu et tu peux le voir que j'ai pas mis assez d'encre au centre. Ça, c'est la première fois que j'ai essayé. Mon papier a bougé un petit peu. Et j'ai aussi mis, au lieu de mettre de l'encre, j'ai mis un euh, Versamark. Et après ça, tout de suite, quand je l'ai sorti de de la machine, j'ai mis mon embossing powder, donc je l'ai fait l'embossage dessus. Et c'est pour cette raison que tu vois qu'il brille. All right. So there's that. So when I get over to show you the new products, I'll tell you more about that. Now, I want to go through a few things we did yesterday that took me away from you guys. First of all, there's that, okay? We literally knit as I mentioned yesterday, comme j'ai mentionné hier, on a fait tricoter avec le papier. C'est un matrice. Il vient trois différentes matrices. Un qui fait le cross-stitch, un qui fait le tricot, puis j'oublie maintenant la troisième. Mais chacune est, est cool parce que ça ressemble ou ça fait ressortir une autre, euh, je ne veux pas dire mode, So it really brings to life um, other crafts. So they're all like uh, stitched crafts. So we've got either the knitted 
or the cross stitch, or I think the other one was just a stitching. Mais je vais vérifier. Et après ça, j'ai fait mes, mes fleurs, the rolled flowers, and they actually came out pretty good. All right. Then we had this one, que je vais vous montrer. This one I did with Sizzix. Oui, ça c'est Sizzix. C'est un matrice qui s'en vient. Okay, or is available now. Donc, ceux-là, on a utilisé des encres oxyde en arrière. So, we used oxide inks in the background. And just did this simple, beautiful card. Then we had the funky cactus from Tim. Now, my flowers are a bit flatter than they were. Je l'ai fait avec les outils de, comme un stylus. Mais je pense que j'ai mis trop de choses par-dessus. Donc, maintenant, sont, they're flatter. They flattened. Susan would not be happy with me. Okay? Donc, voilà. Ça, c'est le funky cactus de Tim Holtz. Et aussi, ça, c'est les flocons dorés de Sizzix. OK? Et aussi de Sizzix, voilà encore, tu vois, mon poudre, pas mon poudre, mon cire lustré. So the luster wax, no, it's not in store yet. And no, I didn't put it on completely. I just wanted like a hint of it. Mais ça s'en vient. Puis comme tu le vois, mon hello est trop croche ou trop croche et trop proche. Okay, so there's that. Voila. Then we had a class with hero arts. So this one here, oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot that background. I need to order it. Okay. Donc, comme tu vois, c'est un script. Oui, si on lit, c'est en anglais. Mais si on juge juste comme un fond de carte, Ça fait aucune différence si c'est en français ou en anglais. All right, so you like my hello. I'm assuming my crush one, my Leah. Anyways, this one is just a beautiful little um, background stamp that was embossed. And then we cut out this hibiscus die, which I have coming. OK, je l'ai commandé. And ça vient, ça est venu avec les feuilles, avec les centres de cartes, avec les, um, les, deux, les deux sortes de feuilles. Puis après ça, c'est juste les petits pois, um, les points enamel de Hero Arts. So that's a cute one. Then there was this one. This is so cute. So the stamp set comes with this little envelope, the die to cut the envelope, the die to cut the library card, and then the stamps. Donc ça vient tout ça ensemble. Look at this library card. It's just the sweetest. Ça va dans le petit enveloppe. Ça vient avec le petit cœur aussi. And then the background is just, again, um, I believe this, somebody said, was from Alice in Wonderland, believe it or not. Mais c'est juste encore un fond, all right? It's just a background. It looks great as a background. Don't try and read it. There's no reason for that, okay? Donc, voilà. Now, let's go on to the messier stuff. I know I have a bunch of you who love messy stuff just like I do. Now... We were given these wonky butterfly pieces and we were like, okay, what are we doing with this? Well, we did some watercoloring, we did some stenciling, and then we even put on a paste and I will, I will remember the name of this paste. Um, and we did put on this beautiful paste which dries um, on gloss, high gloss, okay? Donc, c'est juste un pâte ordinaire, mais c'est sèche glacée. Then, this was not a watercolor piece of paper that I had done watercolor on. Didn't love it while I was doing it. Quand, pendant que je faisais, j'ai dit, c'est pas un bon papier pour ça. Mais, 
Après que j'ai ancré tout autour, puis tout ça, j'ai bien aimé ça. Then we did a little tag, okay? So this is a tag from Marlene, Art by Marlene's tag book. And then what we did is we took rice paper. Pour well, no, avant le papier de riz, on a utilisé... Let's see, do I have a piece of watercolor paper handy that I could show you what we did? Of course I do. So let's show you quickly what I did there. And no, you won't be looking at the ceiling. Okay, let's show you quickly what I did here. I'm gonna grab just a piece of watercolor paper so that I can show you. And I'm gonna show you this product that je l'ai pas en magasin, mais je l'ai commandé. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that. So give me one second to just grab them. And some watercolor paper. Okay. There's one piece of watercolor and here's another. All right, so I have some watercolor papers as well. Then I'm gonna show you what I did on another page. Okay, so we had our watercolor paper, notre papier aquarelle, un tapis comme ça, ou même mon tapis uh, de ranger que j'aime utiliser aussi. Donc, il y a aussi celle-ci que tu peux utiliser. Une ou l'autre, ça fait aucune différence. La mienne n'est pas nécessairement complètement propre, mais ça va marcher quand même. So, this is a stain. It's called Botanical Stains by Sam Poole. OK? So, c'est aquarellable. Ça vient avec un, comme un pipette dedans. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of color out here, okay? Then I'm going to take my water. Water is our best friend. I'm going to spray my paper. Just un petit peu et un peu en arrière. And then I'm going to add water here. And then, I better get my heat tool. Okay, and then I just did that and that. And you know what? I don't even have enough ink here. So let's get some more happening. Okay. So again, a little bit of water. And I'm going to just smear it a bit. Et je vais le sécher. So now I'm going to just dry it quickly. And I don't have to dry it 100%. Pas 100%. Guys, I'm running out of ideas for supper. So if anybody has any good ones for me, something fast, because we never get out of here much before curfew. Although j'ai entendu que les numéros y baissent, donc M. Legault on va annoncer qu'on peut euh, commencer, je pense, lundi prochain, je pense que le couvre-feu va changer à 9h30. All right, so now I have this, and I have all this color here, and I could have put another color too, and I'm just going to go and I'm going to dip, okay? I'm just dipping. So you see that? As long as you dry, il faut, il faut sécher entre des couches. Si tu prends le temps de sécher, tu vas le voir que you could layer. And you could get all sorts of interesting layers. I could maybe take one of our, hmm, let's see, how about a sparkle spray? I'm going to actually, yeah, I'll take the blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of this down. Okay? So now we have that too, our shiny sparkle spray. So again, I'm just going to dip. Tu vois, je ne veux pas avoir sur toute de ma, mon page maintenant. Je vais juste avoir des gouttes. 
and again you dry and you can keep doing this until you love your background okay it's still a background but you're allowed to love it donc tu as le droit de tomber en amour avec tes fonds moi je fais ça tout le temps All right, so I'm drying it. And I think I might go in one more time. One more for the road. Okay, so I'm going to return there. I'm going to return here. I'm going to return there. And a little bit there. And now I'm good. I like my background. But you see, I've used the same items, les mêmes items, but I have depth. J'ai la dimension. And this is so much fun to do. All right, so that's done. Now, I'm just going to take something to wipe up the rest of the ink. Okay, and then I'm going to spray it. Parce que je veux pas transférer la même couleur encore. Parce que je vais vous montrer quelque chose d'autre après. Okay, so I had this, which was my tag. I had that. Okay, même chose que mon petit tag. You see that, guys? I can't even find where I put the tag. Voila. So what did I do after? Well, I took this and this. So you see this beautiful piece of white of uh, rice paper? And you're always asking me, tout le monde me demande toujours, qu'est-ce qu'on fait avec le papier de riz? Donc, ce que j'ai fait ici est que... J'ai pris un pinceau plein de l'eau, okay? And I decided which pieces I wanted to use. Et j'ai fait un contour dans mon papier de riz. There, I put a little too much, but that's okay. C'est juste, moi, j'aime ça beaucoup mieux que uh, couper avec des ciseaux. Okay? So I go all the way down here, too. Okay, donc voilà. And then I tear it. Je déchire. Now, do you see that beautiful script here? I would use that too. So I'm not going to throw this out or anything. I'm just going to tear. And I'm going to tear a bit here. Et j'aime déchirer because I like to see that. Si je coupe avec des ciseaux, ça va être complètement straight. So here, let's continue ripping our little image out. J'ai pas besoin de le fond. Là, j'ai fait ici et là. Donc, tu peux le voir. Et je veux enlever le petit portion sur le côté. Actually, I could probably take that off after I've glued it. Mais tu vas le voir. Je vais enlever toute cette blanc là. Oh, I tore off a flower. Well, that's okay. We'll use it. Et je retourne à ma feuille. Comme ça. Et maintenant, je prends mon gel medium de Dina Wakely. Okay? Ça, c'est le gel medium. C'est bon pour les tissus. Quand c'est dit ultra thick gel medium de Dina Wakely, ça, c'est bon pour les autres sortes de papier. Mais ça ici est pour les papiers en tissu. Okay? So, I'm going to take some of that. And I'm going to put it down very carefully. Tu vois que je fais ça vraiment. Je prends beaucoup de temps de le faire ex propre. Puis être certaine que ça va tout dans une bonne place. No. And then I'm going to put this down. Tout de suite, ça devient une avec le papier. Okay? You see how that's becoming one with the paper? Et maintenant, je vais prendre mon, mon col 
et je vais le mettre au-dessus de mon papier de riz. OK? So now I've put it on the top of the rice paper as well. Now what I am going to cut is this edge because I didn't go all the way to the end. Donc je vais couper ça tantôt. But remember I said I like this script. So time to put some of that in. So I'm going to put that and I'm going to put it here too. And then I'm going to make it part of my page. Okay. Then I can put that to the back or I can cut it. Voilà le petit fleur que, qui est enlevé de mon page. Now I don't want the white there, so I'm going to tear that. Mais encore, je vais le mettre mon petit fleur que j'ai oublié ou déchiré. So you see, même si vous avez juste des petits morceaux qui restaient, tu peux faire comme c'est la même sorte, même chose sur ta page. So you see, I've now put all that rice paper on. And now I have room here to do something else if I want. Ça, je vais le couper. Donc, oublie ça. But you can see now, let me dry it a bit. So once I did this yesterday, après que j'ai fait ça, ils m'ont donné dans mon petit kit un de mes papiers de riz, ma plus favorite de la dernière sortie de Studio Light. So they gave me one of my favorite uh, rice papers from Studio Light. So I had already done my tag and we were supposed to put a Marlene kind of thing on here and I just couldn't. So I took Luna Paste, which I'm going to show you. And again, I forgot it over here. So here's my Luna Paste. And that's the butterfly. Oh, and the stencil. Okay. So voila. So this is a stencil. It's one of the Just For Lou stencils, okay? And I'm going to, because that's really bothering me. But maintenant, je vais le prendre juste le détail. Il faut pas l'air comme un papillon, mais je vais le prendre juste le détail de la pochoir. Et je vais l'ajouter ici. J'ai enlevé le, le col qui était sur mon couteau de palette. Je prends mon Luna Paste, OK? Luna Paste. And je vais ajouter mon pâte, juste comme ça. Donc, tu vois que je veux pas tout la détail. C'est correct s'il y a des trous quelque part, quelque part parce que ça, c'est juste un touche de la pâte pour ajouter une autre dimension sur ma petite page. OK? So you see how right away everything's changing. So you can just keep adding. That's what's beautiful about um, some of these mixed media techniques is, you know, you can keep adding until you're done, until you feel you're done. So the last thing I added on here was my butterfly. I just threw him in there and now I love that. Donc je arrête là. Ici, comme j'ai dit, je vais enlever le petit morceau ici, mais je pense que je vais arrêter là aussi. So after that, I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, I've got this beautiful piece of paper and I have another butterfly wing. What am I going to do? Qu'est-ce que je vais faire? Parce que vraiment, J'ai un beau papier de riz, puis uh, une aile de papillon. So what am I going to do? I took it and I just put it on there. Donc, premièrement, j'ai fait ce que j'ai fait avant, um, comme la technique que j'ai mis 
tout mon, mon spray ici et j'ai allé chercher quelques couches. And then I put that on. I am in love with this butterfly wing. I'm going to ink a little bit more around the edge. J'ai déjà fait un peu d'encre autour. Je vais faire un petit peu plus, but I'm in love with that. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. So that's going to go with all my other little butterfly wings that are, they're here somewhere. You know me. I just showed them to you so we know they're here. Okay. Et je vais juste nettoyer, I know. I don't usually clean, but je vais nettoyer un petit peu mon pochoir. Pas plus que ça. Okay, so I just took off any new paste that I put on it. I could go put it in the sink and let it soak for a while and that would all come off. Okay, so what are we thinking so far? I guess you're liking that. All right, so what time is it, please, Jay? 4.37. 4.37, all right. I'll show you the one last thing or I'll save it. You know what, I'm gonna save the, the other thing for tomorrow and I'm gonna show you a few new items, okay? Donc l'autre technique, je vais garder pour demain. Je te montre parce que aussi je vais passer une commande ce soir pour plus de Luna Paste, plus de Pixie Sparkles, Donc, je, je passe une commande ce soir que possiblement on va l'avoir vers la fin de cette semaine. So, I'm putting in another order tonight. So, I'll show you that, the rest of that tomorrow. But I'm in love with this. I'm just telling you, I'm in love with that. I just think it was the right color underneath it. So, I really, really, really love this. Okay, it just went on there so soft. So I hope now that gives you a little bit of idea when you say, how do we work with rice paper? Well, it's really not that different. You can try with a little bit of water, Cindy. Okay, try a little water and mix it. So I saw that Tim, what he does with a lot of his jars now is he buys, um, what's it called, a uh, stretch and seal or something like that. The one that's got a kind of little tacky. And he seems to take the lid off his paste. He puts a piece of that in, seals it around the edge of the container, and then puts the lid on. That helps control some of the air that's getting in there. People are asking about the Distress Paint Metallic. Well, yeah, the cling film, that's right, Erin. The Distress uh, Paint Metallic is all out of stock, okay? So um, it's all on order, but it's out of stock everywhere. So we are um, going to get more of the metallics. All right, guys, let's go look at a few new items. We'll start with some today and then we'll do some more tomorrow. So. What do we got here? For those of you who bought the TV from Tim, which, did the die come back in? The television, the retro TV? No, it was supposed to. Okay, well, voila le shaker dome pour la television retro te TV from Tim. But of course the die didn't come, so it must be back ordered. Then we have this one. Cela est pas nouveau, donc check ton stock. Mais moi j'aime beaucoup toutes les fleurs que on peut couper en une couleur, ajouter un peu de nuance, puis mettre sur nos pages. Okay? Or a card or anything. So Tim's wildflowers are always very popular. Okay? Donc ça c'est wildflowers numéro 2. I think I have number one, maybe not. Then we have this one here, which might be part of the funky collection. Okay, donc tu le vois, tous ces morceaux là viennent dans le kit. And yeah, this is funky florals number two. Comme moi, je vais vous montrer les funky cactus. 
So that's like the funky cactus. This is funky florals. These I love. This one in particular on si tu découpes en noir puis tu mets sur une carte, même dans le fond, il est vraiment beau. So this one is called Wildflower Stems, number one, numéro un. Aussi pas nouveau, donc check ton stock. Was there more than one of these? Because one is a special order. Okay, then we have Feathered Friends. Okay, les deux oiseaux. Could you make sure the one special order is pulled? Thank you. Voilà, donc voilà les petits oiseaux. Vraiment cute. So, ceux-là, ils s'appellent Feathered Friends. Okay, Feathered Friends. Then, ça ici, c'est toutes les feuilles. Puis les feuilles de Tim, Garden Greens, chaque fois qu'ils rentrent, ils parlent. Ils parlent parce que on est toujours... Pour le montant de fleurs qu'on fait... On a toujours, toujours, toujours besoin des feuilles et de feuillage. So we always need leaves. So garden greens is one of them. And then we've got the funky toadstools. Well, I'm in love with all of Tim's funky. So, oh, this is called funky foliage. Sorry. Funky foliage. But I love those toadstools. Okay. So... Just very popular, encore pas nouveau, mais bon à, à connaître puis bon à savoir. Okay, now can we talk about this? You can see how beautiful it is. I there's no words, okay? C'est un paquet de papier spécialisé de Sizzix encore. What? Ça, c'est uh, 3715, okay? And you get all of these papers in it. Glitter ombre, okay? How beautiful is that? Then we have glitter holographic. Après ça, iridescent, iridescent, also glittery. Holographic. And then miroir. Okay. Cela dix de chaque. Dix de chaque? Oui. C'est un paquet de cinquante. Dix de chacune. C'est plus dispendu que les autres à cause que sont y en plus de avec les paillettes puis tout ça. Mais encore, c'est comme uh, en bas en bas de un dollar chaque feuille. So, very good. This is very glittery goodness, Cindy. You're right. Okay. Then we have... So, this is the stamping and cutting. Eux autres, ils viennent de UK, de Angleterre. Okay. So, this is another one. Okay. All in one stamping and cutting. Okay. Beautiful die. This one is called the Pansy Trio. Déjà, je t'ai montré l'autre que moi j'ai coupé. So I already showed you the other one that I cut. Oh, hang on. I just see the paper, so I'm going to show it to you. Give me one second, guys. I see it hidden under here. Donc, ce que j'ai fait, c'est ceux-là qui s'appelle Daisy Blooms. Donc, ça, c'est ceux-là que j'ai coupé pour vous autres. This is the one I cut for you guys. Okay, Daisy Blooms. Then we have Poppy Spray. Okay, Poppy Spray. Look how cute, how pretty that is. And then we've got the Hydrangea. Okay, Hydrangea. So really, really, really pretty. Then I need to open those for you. Woodwear came out with a couple of cute flowers. I think these could be fun even for Mother's Day. Okay. Then we've got this one as well. So do they have names? They must have names. This one's called Love Garden. Love Garden. This one here, avec mes bibites. We found a bibit. 
is called blooming blooming and then this is backgrounds again guys i mean look how fun each of these elements are i promise you this will be sold out at the end of the video it's called additions okay if you guys trust me and trust my judgment you know this is going to be gone okay additions now I'm going to borrow... Okay, we got, we got Easter eggs for La Pauque. Yes, Ant Antonia, it's Easter eggs. No, Antonia, you don't own this one yet. Okay. Donc, cela est nouveau pour nous autres. Il était hors de stock quand je l'ai commandé, mais comme si j'attends jusqu'à le temps de Pâques l'an prochain, il va plus l'avoir. So, if I wait for next year then they won't have it again. So, then we have from Studio Light, these very thin washi tapes. Il y en a, je pense, huit rouleaux. Huit soixante-quinze, huit couleurs. I'm going to need you to hold the camera a minute. Okay, so those are the beautiful colors. Blissful. Then we have these beautiful earth tones. Terre Amour. Look at those colors. So washi tapes are great just to do a little bit of edging to uh, sometimes you need something to sit on something. You put some washi tape and then you could ground your person who looked like they were floating in the air. All right, I'll show you that after. I got more of these because like I promised, comme j'ai dit, ils ont tout vendu dans une semaine. Donc, j'ai commandé plusieurs ce fois-ci. So, I have Talia. Look at that. Okay, now I know this will be gone. Donc, ça, c'est dans le format A6. Okay, sont les plus petits. Talia. Et voilà tous les morceaux que tu vas recevoir. Then we have Elephant. Okay, the elephant. So look at the size of the elephant. Je vais dire qu'il y a 4 pouces et demi de haut. Mais 4 pouces de haut. Puis la plus large, probablement 3 pouces et demi. Okay? So where his ears are, it probably goes about um, 3 and a half inches. Look, it says age is irrelevant. Love that. Okay. Then we have stripes. Notre zèbre. And he is now a good size. Avant, il était trop gros. Maintenant, il est aussi juste 4 pouces de haut. I love this series too, Nancy. It's gorgeous. Then we have unicorn. Licorne. Voilà le licorne. Et ça vient avec des souhaits. Ça vient avec le corne. Donc, tu peux le faire juste comme un cheval magical. Et tu l'as de feuillage. Les plumes. So all of that, and I would say that he's only about two and a half inches high and about three inches wide. Then we have this one, okay? That RV bus, VW bus, not RV, VW bus is so cute. So love this, really, really cute. So it's called camper van. Then we have Hippocampe. So we have this beautiful seahorse with those little mini silhouetted seahorses. Okay, donc vraiment utilisable. And then we have Fairy Mouse. Okay, Fairy Mouse. Voilà, notre petite souris. Encore, on a des, des images silhouettes. So silhouetted images are beautiful to just stamp in the one color, or you can mix a couple of colors onto your stamp and then stamp them. So that one is called Fairy Mouse. All right, then we got a few more fairy hugs in. For those of you who love Lavinia, these complement. They don't have to be competition to each other. They complement each other. And I thought that these ducks were the cutest I've seen. Donc, les petits, uh, on va dire les canards, sont vraiment, vraiment mignons. 
OK? Donc, ça, c'est de la compagnie Fairy Hugs. Après ça, on a la petite fée. Elle est deux pouces et demi de haut. OK? So, she's small. She's about two and a half inches high. Her name is April. OK? Donc, c'est la bonne saison pour elle. Elle s'appelle April avec son parapluie. So, she has her umbrella. Then look at this. This is just a celestial sky. Could be used with anything. This one is moon dust. Moon dust. Then we have the two dancing fairies. Okay. So this one is called Lila and Robin. Okay. Les deux dansent, puis chacune est deux pouces et quart de haut. So they're about two and a quarter inches high, maybe two and a half, and it's called Lila and Robin. Okay? Then we have her. Look at her wings. They are so beautiful. Elle est vraiment trois pouces de haut, trois et un quart, et elle s'appelle Angela. Okay? So she's about three and a quarter inches high, and her name is Angela. Okay, and then look at this one flying on a dandelion. Okay, look how cute that is. So, je vais dire de début jusqu'à là et certainement trois pouces. Okay, so very cute. And this one is called Dan Dandela because she's on a dandelion. Okay, now I'm going to borrow Jay. Because he's going to help me, he's going to let me flip through a few things I want to show you. Okay? So first of all, that we've got this that just came in. Say it with flowers. Donc, ceux-là sont déjà coupés, comme toujours avec eux autres. Tu peux le voir, sont coupés. So look at that. Just beautiful images. Okay? Very, very pretty. Donc, toutes ces fleurs-là, deux pages de chaque, toujours. Et ça s'appelle « Say it with flowers ». OK? Beautiful, beautiful images in there. Au complet, le livre est six par six. Now, I'm going to show you this. This, and yes, I'm going to open it even though Jay is watching. Because he knows that I can't show it to you. Oh, guess what? It's shrink-wrapped. Ha! Psych. No, I'm what? opening it. I'm opening it, guys. We want to see inside. What are they all saying? Let her open We're it, We're going Jay. off the air. Please do not adjust your set. <laughs> <laughs> We're totally off the air. <laughs> okay. Jay thinks he's funny. All right, so on this side, it's all neutral backgrounds. But if I turn it over here, you're going to see that it's floral delights and watercolor wash. So look, glacé, Dominic, just because I know you're going to ask. Son plus glacé. So these are a little bit more glossy, but just look at these colors. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful papers. Et tu peux voir que le fond est juste plus neutre, mais ça match toujours le papier. So, look how beautiful that is. Okay? So, you have every, look at that, every color flower you could possibly want, all in one package. Il y en a quatre de chaque feuille, douze différentes, donc il y en a 48 feuilles dedans, puis c'est 17 dollars. 17 et 50. Et sont 8 par 8. So I'm not going to shrink wrap it, but I am going to put it back in its package so that we have permission to open the next one. Okay, I think that I can put it in the package after. Right, Jay? Oh, it actually went in easy. Okay, now let's look at this one. And again, it's shrink-wrapped, so again, I'm going to open it. And don't start peeking at what's underneath, because you're going to need to see that, too. 
C'est une journée de papier spécial. So this one again, duo design. Vintage maps and aged paper. So look at that. We have les cartes. Now who doesn't like to put a vintage map as a background? And then just work layers and layers on top of that. Okay? Donc vraiment beau, toutes les cartes. And you could distress the, all sorts of stuff out of this. Australie, donc on a toutes les cartes, mais aussi on a toutes ces beaux fonds. Okay? Et oui, Dominique, encore glacé. Hunky Dory always does a more glossy paper. Sorry about that, but look how beautiful those papers are. So really like both of these. And then last but not least, never least, and again, I'm opening it. You need to see this. It is called, ooh, really in there snug. It's gonna tear the package. Okay, quelqu'un va avoir un paquet déchiré, je m'excuse, mais si on veut vraiment le voir, il faut que je déchire un petit peu le paquet. Okay? So whoever doesn't mind the torn package can tell me. Voilà, because you need to see this paper. Ça s'appelle Miri Card Starry Galaxies. Are you ready? Okay? Can you see that? I know, there's a big reflection. There's a big glare. Is that better? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on, guys. All right, I'm going to show this to you here. Okay, voila. So you see that? Look at that paper. Isn't that gorgeous? It's incredible. Ça continue jusque le bas. Okay, jusqu'en bas. Il y en a probablement quatre ou six de chacun. So you don't even have to worry about using it that you won't have any left because guess what? You can get it again. Voila. Are these not beautiful? I mean, really. Now you see why I had to open it. Pourquoi il faut que je l'ouvre? That's the same one. Then look at this one. Okay, so just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful backgrounds. Okay, and then the last one is turned the other way. Is this? Okay, so just beautiful, beautiful papers. All right, so I'm gonna give that back to Jay. He'll put it back in for me. And voila, look how gorgeous that is. I was so excited when I saw this paper. Quand je l'ai vu, I got so excited. Okay, l'autre chose, c'est des die. Ces die là fait des mini albums. Okay, you see that? All that is done with this. Donc on a les reliures, on a les pages, on a les fermetures. So this is to make your own journal. Voilà, tu peux le faire la couture pour ton spine. Donc faire plusieurs pages et tout là. So look at that. Or you can make something like this where you layer the pages. So really, really quite incredible. Après ça, ils ont celle-ci qui a toutes sortes de bordures. Encore des reliers. Again, you've got the spines. This here is so that you can have extended pages. And look at that. Okay, so for doing all of this from this one die. Après ça, celle-ci. Okay, and this one was a prettier one versus those being more vintage. Avec les ailes puis tout ça. So you see how that goes on there? It's just beautiful. Okay, donc, celui-là, c'est 380, parce qu'il n'y a pas de nom. Celui-là, c'est 381, et celui-là, 383. Okay, so this one's probably 382. 
382, 382. Donc, chacune fait des pages différentes, le, euh, les détails différents. So, mini albums, making your own. Doesn't this look like it's like somebody's teeth? Anyways, that's just my own humor. And then, last but not least for this, we got Marlene's pencil case in. It is not cheap, okay? So I told people that I was gonna look at it and I was gonna let you know what I thought of it. It is well made, okay? Donc, je vais l'ouvrir si je peux faire avec un main. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you. Donc ici, on a des pochettes, okay? Là, on a un zip avec un pochette. Il est au moins un pouce et quart et un pouce et quart, peut-être même un et demi, quand tu le fais plaindre. So, it is two separate sides of the pencil case. Okay? Here's the other side. I have to get it open. Hang on. It's very bright. It's Marlene's colors for sure, as you can see. Really, really nice. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting the other pocket open. Here we go. And it's the same thing on this side. More pockets, more storage. Ici, on a des pen loops. Tu l'as les petits pochettes là. Et encore un zip ici avec un élastique. Donc, il y a beaucoup de place dedans. All right, so that is Marlene's pencil case that she showed back in January, February, and it just came in now. It has got a wipeable cover. Donc, vous pouvez essuyer facilement le, le, le couvert. And it's just very bright and cheery. So, it's very Marlene. Okay? Last but not least, Dominique was here yesterday. Moi, je n'ai pas eu la chance de visiter avec elle. Mais elle nous a porté un échantillon de les texture paste de Vicky Bouton. Oh, mama. I think we're sold out, eh, of Vicky's um, texture paste. I might have one. Mais j'en ai encore des autres qui s'en viennent. The six in the pack. Look at these colors. So I'll tell you what I find different about this and everything we showed you neon last week. It's very matte, okay? Il y a un relief, mais aussi c'est mat. Okay, so when you touch it, it feels very chalky. C'est ça la différence. Mais tu peux le voir toutes les couleurs. Si tu l'aimes, les fluos, les néons, tu vas bien aimer ceux-là. Donc ça, c'est les six couleurs qui viennent dans un paquet. So you can't get them individual. Then, look at this. So not only did the yellow black lace work beautiful, ça c'est le jaune qui a de noir dedans, worked beautiful for the bee. Also for the ladybug, look how cool it was to use the red. So la bee puis euh, le petit coccinelle, il vient d'un un, un set de Tracy. Garde les feuilles, ça donne les nuances dans les feuilles et les fleurs. Donc, Dominique nous a fait un échantillon des couleurs. OK, so we've got romance. Ça, c'est les couleurs qu'on a ici. Rose pink. Miss Piggy. Uh, sweet Melissa. Summer Nights, Kelly Lime, Cheshire, Daydream, ah, beautiful, Toes in the Water, cela est vraiment à quoi? October, pour Halloween, Pay Dirt, a baby elephant, baby elephant, okay? So as you can see, they're all black laced. And what that does is it gives you depth, but it also gives you texture, okay? 
Ces poudres-là sont, hum, hum, sont juste à côté de la caisse. Je vais vous montrer. OK. Et après ça, on va dire bye-bye pour aujourd'hui parce que ça devient tard. Mais ici, on a toutes ces poudres-là qui sont le black lace, OK? Donc, chacune. Puis, la compagnie is covered, mais je vais vous dire. Stamp Listic, OK? Ça s'appelle Embossing Dust. Donc, sur le site, si vous mettez le mot Embossing Dust ou Black Lace, ça va vous amener à ces produits-là. Donc, merci encore, Dominique, d'avoir fait des échantillons pour nous. Okay, so at least I'm not fully to blame when you spend money. Dominic's helping, okay, and Fred's helping because he shows you all those things. So, j'ai toutes mes amis qui, qui me aident à vous vendre des choses. Then, this is the embossing folder. Ça, c'est une cut and emboss de Tim Holtz. That is the uh, floral frame. Look at the detail you get. Ça, c'est juste un blanc cartonné, OK? And you can see that detail. And then this is the embossing glaze speckled egg. And we have just some little colors put on the details. And then down here is distress crayons. So you take something pretty like this, you run your distress crayons over it, You rub it in so it gets in the nook and crannies, and then you wipe some off with your fingers. And that was a technique that uh, Tim showed, and it's beautiful. Okay? So, guys, until tomorrow, donc on va se joindre encore demain, uh, soit avec des nouveautés, mais certainement je vais vous montrer l'autre technique que j'ai parlé aujourd'hui. Et si j'ai la chance de compléter des autres cartes, parce que je sais de Spellbinders, Vicky Pomp Pompayanu has come out with a line of birdhouses for all seasons that are by Vicky, and they're being made by Spellbinders. Well, I got the chance to play with it yesterday, so I will show it to you tomorrow if I get the card put together. So, bonsoir tout le monde, à demain. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow at um, Daniel Sisse and Command qui contient le salvaged uh, patina. No, uh, is it salvaged patina? Yeah. Il peut encore rentrer. Okay? So, guys, salvaged patina is on its way to us, but it is not here yet. So, It should hopefully, fingers crossed, Friday. Donc, bye-bye tout le monde. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Four o'clock tomorrow. Bye.